All right, when it comes to sex, what do men and women really want in the bedroom? Is it sexy lingerie or, well, just some peace and quiet do it in your house? <laughs> Whether you're single or in a committed relationship here, with some help to spice up your oh, sex oh, life. Oh, really? Our Tiffany Henry, she should know. Uh -huh. A relationship <laughs> expert and certified <laughs> sex therapist, as well as Steve Ward of Master Matchmakers. Welcome to you both. Well, Thank you well, well. Okay, let's, let's start off with the single ladies. Let's get them uh, okay, done with early. Up. Yes. People always wonder, how many dates should I wait until I decide to get intimate with the guy? Marriage. <laughs> well, <Wow. Okay. laughs> minus that part. Okay. So what should you do if you're not going to wait that long? You know what? I think it depends on what you want out of the relationship. Certainly, if you want a more committed, long-term relationship, then you wait a little bit longer. I always say, what you have is what you're committed to. So if you just want a really good time and great sex, go for it. But if you want a relationship, you got to work on it, and you got to get that emotional connection going How first. How long do you think should you wait? How many dates would you appreciate? Oh, I think it's very circumstantial. It depends on how much knowledge has been gained okay. from each other. See, I mm -hmm. think that it's almost like an acid test. Communication, respect, trust. As soon as you've established all three of those key components, then I think it's safe to take the clothes off. Okay. Yeah, but in today's world, don't you have to go through an awful lot of stuff before you get to that point? How you know, you do. You say, well, have you been tested? Uh, show me yeah, your results. Sure. Uh, it gets you, weird. It's, it's not really very romantic. romantic. It's not that thing that you talk that? about usually on the well, first day. Well, I think day, they, they need to, right. but yeah. they don't, is what I they, think. They yeah. don't. They don't, which is why I suggest using protection. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, always. exactly. Always. All right, let's talk about married couples. And people are always, I think, curious about how often other couples mm -hmm. are having sex. Yeah. Now, according to some survey, it says that the average couple has sex once a week. For sure. Is that right? That that's, seems like... that's actually true. The average American couple, married couple, is having sex about once a week. What I find in my practice, though, most folks are coming in and they're saying, we're not having a, not a lot of sex. When I ask them, oh, about three to four times a month, and that's about once a week. Right. So that's average. So are, men are tend women to want as, it more. Are the women men as, want it more. Men when, tend to want men, it more, okay. and women tend to prioritize other things but, over. But when you have kids yeah. and stuff, it changes the, the whole it's equation. Yeah. Of course I, think it, I think it takes, it, that's the problem, is that you only have so much time in a day, and you got careers, <laughs> and you got kids, and you got chores, and bills, you got all these things you have mm -hmm. to worry about. Sometimes getting a little freaky isn't on the top of your priority. And so the world we live in, may, our culture makes us feel like there's nothing in the world but sex. Right. And that's just not the well, truth. This let's talk, is not let's the talk truth. about ideas so people can have more intimacy For in their sure. relationships. Let's give, give me your suggestions. Why are there some first? gloves there? And why is well, there chocolate and paintbrushes? Well, the same thing. You need protection. No. There's laundry here. There's cleaning supplies. What does this have to do with sex? What it has to do is the sexiest thing that I find when I walk in the house and my husband is cooking dinner, the laundry's done, he's cleaned the house. What? And I have... I have a lot more energy for <laughs> sex. You have right? a she you do. No, Exactly. <laughs> this might work and for Archie and Edith Bunker, yeah. but not for the average American so couple. So what do you think works? I, oh, I, I do. I do. I, I think the most important thing, well, yeah, okay, I guess maybe when you get a little bit older, but not for younger uh, couples. How old do you think I am, sir? Okay. I happen to think that I happen to think there are <laughs> other things that will get. Such what, as? What, as? Such as. <laughs> well, the first, most important thing is comfortability. I mean, mm -hmm. the fact is it can't be rushed. You can't feel like you're, sure. you're just squeezing it in. Yeah. You can't feel like you, you have to find the time for it. So but it needs to be something that's comfortable, <laughs> right? Yeah, so okay. I think that the most important thing, at least as far as men are concerned, and, and I'm really talking to the men out there, is that make yes, sure you your are. partner is very comfortable, that they're at ease, that they're not rushed, okay. that they're not hurried. And there's a lot of things you can do to make sure they're comfortable in bed. And okay. that's why this stuff is important. Sex foreplay actually starts outside of the bedroom. They call it that, they call that chore play. We have we have <laughs> chore play. We have to Whatever. run. But you you yes. think that somehow painting someone with chocolate works? Oh, for sure. <laughs> okay. I say that chocolate is like wine. You don't want to buy wine that you don't cook with. You don't want to 